come pack my surfboard with me for Hawaii. The other day, my friend was like, you don't just throw a surfboard in a bag and call it a day. The answer is no. I don't want my surfboard to end up like these videos I've seen on TikTok. So we're gonna secure it together. I always consider myself a strong, independent woman until I have to either change my car's oil or remove my surfboard fins. But that's what dad's for, right? Oh! All right, we're gonna save this for later. Next, we're gonna de-wax the surfboard, the tool you guys absolutely hate. But for me, okay, it works. I'm going in with long motions just to get the majority of the wax off and then using this comb to scrape the remaining bits. Also, I'm turning 23 in a few days, so I'm so excited to spend some time in warm water surfing before my birthday. Next, I decided to remove my stomp pad and just reapply it when I'm there because it was already flopping off. And then I'm going in with these pipe insulator tubes to secure the nose and tail of my surfboard because these are the most fragile parts. But I decided to do the whole thing because why not? I'm scared, okay? This is my first time flying with my shortboard. All right, time for the final few steps. Throwing it all in the bag, I'm putting my surf poncho just to secure it more. I've seen so many horror stories of just surfboards being annihilated in the plane's carrier. So one comment is one prayer. Let's hope she arrives 